What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the Man City Road to Glory. This is episode number three, where we're taking a look at our second Rivals rewards. And we're also going to uh, see our first Weekend League rewards results. Um, and I'll be going over uh, the spreadsheet, uh, how things went down. I'll tell you what, next gen uh, Weekend League is just an absolute sweat fest. But now we're going to go ahead, uh, before we get to the Rivals rewards, guys, I'm going to show you a little bit about the weekend league um, we're going to take a look at our wish list uh, some players that we got uh, and added to the team even midway through the weekend league um, and then teams you'll see at the end of uh, the team has been changed a little bit uh, based on the rivals rewards the weekend league rewards um, and also a player that I sniped off the transfer market which is pretty sweet um, but yeah so we're going to take you to the weekend league highlights uh, maybe a, a video a game or, or two some highlights some cool plays that I made um, and then eventually we'll get to the spreadsheet and then the rewards so guys really quick we're, we're going to run you through uh, the rule update that I kind of made and then also the wish list and how that's changed as you see there the original rules number four was supposed to only be uh, an online I thought that was going to be the way to make the most coins but I see now that uh, in order to complete a uh, an SBC like Aguero, I'm going to need to do some offline objectives as well as squad battles to get as many coins as possible. So, um, as you can see, I've now changed number four to allowing offline grinding, um, especially because Weekend League was like so tough for me this weekend, um, and you'll see that in a second. Um, but really, I think this making this switch is going to allow us to make the most coins possible. You also get to see our wish list right now. This was the wish list before the weekend. Um, and then as the weekend progressed, we were able to, with the rewards um, and packing Ederson, we were able to snag Sterling and put him on the left side. Uh, we also got Laporte mid midway through uh, the weekend league. Um, and threw him in. His uh, name pops back up to number two, though, because I still would like to get that rule breaker to Laporte because of the 82 pace. Um, I also took out uh, Inform Benjamin Mendy because I actually sniped him for 10,000 coins. See the picture now. All right, so I sniped him for 10,000 coins. He goes for about 42, 43K, so that was huge for the Road to Glory. I was just on my phone uh, randomly checking the market, and one popped up, and I was really shocked that I was able to get him. So pretty cool and nice addition to the team. All right, guys, so we're taking a look at the weekend league results. You should have seen some of the clips and highlights already. Some of the positives. Psych! That's the wrong number! Some of the positives. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. It was, a, it was a rough weekend, and as I described in the info, next-gen FIFA, I mean, really... Because I can't play old gen players, I'm playing people who are tryhards, kind of like me, uh, but people who have unreal teams who, you know, basically have the money to buy that next gen console right away. It's $500. So if you have a $500 console, you most likely have a pretty expensive team as well. And that's what I ran into a lot. And especially at the start, I was playing an unreal amount of Ronaldo's and Messi's. I just like didn't understand it. And I understand that I'm late in the cycle of the game and just starting, uh, but the teams that I was coming up against were, were pretty ridiculous. All right, so you see there, we're gonna focus on the match results first. Um, you know, I started off with a two game winning streak Friday morning and then came back Friday afternoon and the gameplay was awful. I had some funny happenings that I put in the bottom right corner. Uh, just like no, fake shots weren't working, passes weren't going where they were supposed to be going, kickoff goals, playing God squads, guy had like a red messy that I played against. Then I played Saturday morning, started off with a win, felt really good. I was like, oh, it's going to be a good morning. And then went on a three game losing streak, won, lost a couple more. I ended up playing, I think it was 23 games in Saturday as a whole. Um, and really really didn't really give myself a time to kind of get in a groove until Saturday night where I started off on a three game winning streak um, and actually took four out of the first five and then went on a four game losing streak losing some you know blowouts and some some close games uh, that hurt I played uh, I rage quit in three games and that was just to save time um, and then went to extra time uh, five times lost three of the five times uh, and really, guys, it just was a disappointing weekend. I wanted at least gold three, and once I got to 14 wins, like I was going to stop playing. And unfortunately, I ended up ended up having to play 29 games. And for me, realistically, guys, playing this many games in a weekend is just too much. I really don't have the time, and I feel like I have to like squeeze these games in. So I'll be playing weekend league once they sort of get next gen sorted, and then uh, you know from there we'll see if we can get some more good red picks. Uh, we'll, we'll see what we get today. I don't know what we're going to get. Hopefully it's something good. Hopefully it's something usable. All right. Uh, you'll see on the right side here, just looking at some of the top scores. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll look at the player stats. 
Top three scorers, Aguero with 41 goals in 29 games. Pretty impressive. Sterling with 10, Foden with 9. Foden actually had a pretty good weekend. Top three assist players, Aguero, 12. Sterling, 11. Rodri, 9. Um, and yeah, the man of the matches, of course, are going to go to uh, Sergio Aguero. Uh, the, the weekend league match stats, 12 wins, 17 losses. Uh, scored 81 goals in the 29 games, which isn't bad. It's a 2.79 average. But I did concede 87 goals, which was a three goal per game average. And you're never going to win games, guys, when you're giving up three goals a game. That means I got to score four goals, or at least three, to get it to extra time. Um, and really, throughout the weekend league, I only had two clean sheets. So it was sort of a letdown. I will say, though, Phil out this sheet as I went was actually pretty fun and enjoyable. It made me kind of more attached to the results and uh, you know how the players are doing. It allows me to kind of assess the changes that we'll need to make eventually in the road to glory. All right, that is it for uh, looking at the the spreadsheet, um, looking at the rules, the wish list. Uh, we're now going to head over to those rivals rewards and hope that we pack something um, or, or get a player pick. Uh, that is usable. Uh, of course, no city team of the week, so we're going to have to go for uh, the coins and then you know just hope for a good red player pick. Guys, I really quick just want to note that uh, I did record gameplay. I did record these pack openings and the red player picks, but unfortunately, iMovie just does not want to cooperate with my files, so unfortunately, I've had to do um, still pictures, so not quite as exciting or um, as you know it doesn't have the build up um, but I just wanted to note that before um, and, and you know I'm sorry that a lot has been left out of this video um, and I hope you guys are still going to enjoy uh, this red player pick coming up all right guys it is now time to check out the rewards for the week the team of the week is uh, there's no city players okay which means that we have to take the coins this week and uh, it was really dumb so I played the 29 weekend league games as you guys saw um, and it gave me rivals points based on how I did for that and there was no way to play up and to get the rank one reward so instead of getting 70,000 coins we're gonna be getting 47,500 plus 250 foot champs points um, if we had a city team of the week player um, it would, we would be taking the tradable packs, but of course because of the rules we are going to be taking the coins Which of course is still going to help the team out a ton. Now guys as you saw on the the, the weekend league spreadsheet uh, Not an ideal finish. We we're going to go for gold three um, and really just ran into some absolutely crazy uh, teams uh, and, and some losing streaks resulted um, and so here we are silver one which means we only get one player pick now it's still um, a decent player pick, okay? It's gonna be any of the team of the week. Uh, we're also gonna get 20,000 coins, a jumbo premium gold player, and a mega pack. We'll open all this right now. And of course, we automatically requalify. Uh, I would've liked gold three, so I could've gotten two player picks. Um, but we're only getting one. Nick 2018 got Cristiano Ronaldo a couple weeks ago. Uh, so who knows what we're going to get here. Here we go. Uh, player pick. Oh, we're just going to go straight away with the player pick, huh? All right, let's hope for really no city team of the week players. We're not going to be able to use any of these players. The higher the rating, the better. Throw them into that Aguero SBC eventually. Let's see what we get. Probably nothing good. We actually got an 87 million. Uh, Milinkovic Savic. So uh, yeah, we'll take that. An 87 overall for Silver 1. Uh, I've seen lots worse on Twitter. Um, and yeah, we're going to take him. He'll go into an SBC. There is an 87 overall team that you need for the Aguero. So that is absolutely huge. I'm actually going to take a screenshot really quick. Bang. That's very nice. We'll take that. That is awesome. And I don't know why I'm not as, as excited. Um, but, you know, I guess it's just because I was hoping there was going to be a city player, a team uh, that we would, you know, or a player that we would eventually use, and that's just not happening. All right, store, let's see if we can get some pack luck here. Uh, we got 20,000 more coins from Weekend League, so we're up to 86,000 coins, which is awesome, which means we could buy some players from that wish list, uh, a Kyle Walker, or eventually maybe a KDB, uh, but I think realistically, because we're losing time on the Aguero SBC, um, we need to get ready to stock up on players uh, to, to get that SBC going. All right, guys. Well, thank you for checking out the video. Thanks for checking out, you know, the new updated team, um, as well as the, um, you know, rivals rewards, weekend league rewards, the spreadsheet in the weekend league. Obviously, we didn't turn out how we wanted to, but getting an 87 out of it is pretty good. All right. So next video should be uploaded around the same time next week. Um, we'll have the rivals rewards, updates to the teams. Hopefully, we can pack someone eventually pretty sick and get this Aguero SBC done. And then the team will be looking very nice. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. If you have not already subscribed, please do so. If you don't like the video or if you haven't liked the video yet, please like it. Leave a comment on any suggestions on how I can make this video or series better. Uh, it would be much appreciated. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.